Rio fans of the United States are going ape over a fearless new star. Whiplash the monkeys and prompt you antics are proving a big hit. Even his owner was caught by surprise when the impulsive primate decided to help round up the sheep. I think he's actually crazy. I think I can find a monkey psychiatrist. <laughs> but crazy or not, Whiplash is pulling in the crowd at around 200 shows a year. With a name like Whiplash, who knows what he'll do next. To the weather now, we must be due for some nicer weather. Overdue, I think, Wendy, <laughs> but it is looking a little better for the weekend. Hi, everyone. We've still got a wind warning in place, though, overnight for southern Otago from the Catlins to the Otago Peninsula for southwesterly gales with gusts to 120 kilometres an hour. It was very cold in the south today. A wintry high of just 11 for Invercargill and Dunedin. Kaikoura got to 24 as a gale westerly blasted through, then dropped to 11 as a gale force southerly arrived with the front. For the second day in a row, Wellington had a fine morning, then a southerly change with a temperature dropping to 10. Very windy in southern Hawke's Bay with gusts to 140 kilometres an hour. We had highs of 17 for Auckland, Hamilton and Thames. So a strong west to southwest flow over the country today. Gale force and very gusty in some exposed areas. A front moved northwards, dragging some rain or showers with it and lots of shower cloud here in its wake. This bright cloud over Australia here is associated with a slow moving trough that's producing the rain at the moment in Brisbane, stopping the cricket from growing ahead. Not a great deal of change tomorrow, but the southwest flow over us will gradually ease. Today's front moves away, but yet another one charges out of the Southern Ocean here and onto the lower South Island tomorrow night. It'll be fine and sunny over much of the South Island tomorrow, just some showers over Southland and southern parts of Fiordland and Otago. A few showers will also push on to coastal Buller in the afternoon. The cold southwester will be blustery in the far south. Up to the North Island, the southwest flow carries cloud and a few showers ashore in the west from about Northland down to Whanganui. It's looking pretty good everywhere else with sunny skies and that pattern stays the same all day. So occasional showers for Invercargill but the cold southwester will ease. Mostly fine further north after a chilly night tonight. It'll be fine through here, light winds and a high of 19 for Blenheim. The southwester dies away further south. Lots of sunshine tomorrow from Nelson to Levin, but we've still got the chilly west to southwest wind. Masterton down to five degrees tonight. A brisk westerly and a few showers for Whanganui, showers for New Plymouth, and the southwester will be strong and fairly cool. Mostly fine through here, just a few splashes for Tokoroa. Sunshine and a high of 19 for Gisborne, also a westerly wind. We've got a fresh, cool southwester for the northern centres. It'll be fine in the Bay of Plenty, but Whangarei and Kaitaia will catch a few showers. So cloudy periods and a few showers for Dunedin, but they should clear away by the evening. The southwester will be strong and gusty about the peninsula, a high of 13. A fine day for Christchurch after a chilly night. The cool southwester will be quite blustery at first about Banks Peninsula, but then it'll die away. We're expecting a high of 17. Looking very nice in Wellington. Sunny skies, light winds at first, then a norwester developing during the day with a high of 16. A mix of fine and cloudy periods for Hamilton. There may be a few showers mixed in, especially in the west. A fresh southwester and a high of 18. And the southwester will be strong in exposed parts of Auckland. That'll deliver some cloud and a few showers, but some fine breaks as well. 17 the high. Now, it's not looking too good across the ditch. Nasty weather's already put the kibosh on the cricket in Brisbane, and we've got more showers there tomorrow. Perth and Hobart, the only places to see some fine weather. Sunshine tomorrow for Tonga, Fiji and Vanuatu. Rain or showers for the rest of our Pacific neighbours. Now on Sunday it'll be mostly fine over the North Island. Just a few morning showers in the north and west. A few showers in the west and south of the South Island. Maybe some afternoon showers for coastal Canterbury. Then on Monday rain or showers over the northern half of the North Island and the west and south of the South Island. It'll be fine everywhere else. Showers both days for the Chatham Islands but the gale southwester will ease on Saturday. Today. Now here's how the surf's shaping up around the country tomorrow. There's a two and a half metre southwest swell at Ahipara on the west coast of Northland, two metres at Raglan. A three metre southerly swell for Lyle Bay and Kaikoura rising to three and a half metres by the end of the day. And the southerly swell will be up around four metres at St Clair Beach with a strong southwester. A four and a half metre swell for Bluff, but those swells should ease a little bit during the day. 
Now Clyde in central Otago has a summer market on tomorrow and they'll run that summer market every Saturday morning until the end of January. There's Christmas in the park at Karamea and quite a few Christmas parades on tomorrow. Fitianga, Kawakawa, Mairangi Bay, Thames, Narua Wahia and Bull. So you can take your pick. Have a great weekend. Thanks very much, Karen. Well, looking at our top stories now, police have released a newspaper photographer and a TV cameraman with a warning after a heated protest in Wellington. The pair were arrested while covering a march about 200 people against a proposed new bypass. Police say the TV3 cameraman got in the way while they were protecting transit-owned land. Ahmed Zawi broke down at a press conference today as he talked about his family and future plans. The Algerian refugee says he hardly slept during his first night of freedom after spending two years in jail without charge. He says he's now a keen follower of rugby and cricket. And an English tourist could be scarred for life after suffering chemical burns during a mud bath in Rotorua. Farah Hussan says she'll probably be telling English travel newspapers about her experience at Hell's Gate Spa. The spa is sending mud samples for testing, but it says there's never been such a reaction before and it'll continue to offer mud baths. Finally tonight, some Santa spirit, Japanese style. These wannabe male and female Santas are taking special classes in downtown Tokyo to get their ho-ho-hos down pat. And as they say, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Along with some present wrapping techniques, the class also covers the history of Mr. Claus, along with other tidbits like his favourite treats. Although Japan isn't a Christian nation, Christmas is widely celebrated with presents and parties. They take it all very seriously, don't they? And that is One News this Friday. Mark is here with Close Up, and tonight is along at 22.11. But from us, good night.